From the Quad Cities News Leader, this is KLEW News at 6. And a U.S. Senate campaign makes its way through the valley. We've been following him the last year in his work for the Senate campaign. In June, he was in Orofino as a garbage man. And in July, we caught him cleaning cells at the Region 2 Juvenile Detention Center in Lewiston. But today, Larry LaRocco was just passing through. Warren Coeur d'Alene, I'm going to work at the Head Start program up there. In his 12th stop of 30, he plans to make before next year's election. But today, he was talking numbers. 600 respondents here in the state of Idaho were asked uh, whether they would support a Democrat or a Republican for the United States Senate race in 2008. And 42% said that they would support a Democrat and 36% said that they would support a Republican. Now these numbers come from Lake Research Partners, which is a Democratic Party research group. LaRocco says, if anything, it shows that this red state might be trending purple. Ten years ago, I must say that uh, I think Idahoans were very comfortable just uh, uh, checking the Republican box and, and not taking a look at it. And I think the outcome of the elections have shown that. The reason they're willing to take a look is because they think that uh, government isn't working on their behalf. It's, it's not uh, working shoulder to shoulder with them. There's a, a big competency issue here. I think the war in Iraq has hurt. I think spiraling uh, uh, energy costs have hurt. LaRocco says he's optimistic because it looks like voters won't follow the historical trend. Uh, for the first time in a really a long time, Idahoans are going to have a choice in a Senate race, and it's going to be a full-blown Senate race, and there's nothing better in democracy than, than to have a clear choice. LaRocco says his campaign will make another stop at the Valley soon, but can't say yet what he'll be doing. Sounds good. <laughs> we'll see you back here tomorrow. Good night. Fisher Communications.